Firstly, I used a brown paint and outlined all of Simba's main features. I started off with his eyes, which I extended up and above my eyebrows, and then brought down underneath and connected in the inner corner. Next, I outlined his mouth and chin area. And then I moved on to his ears and the rest of his face. Once I was happy with my outline, I used bright yellow paint and a large flat brush and I filled in the whole top section of his face. I wanted to make sure that the yellow was really strong so I went over it with a second coat and then I took a sponge with even more yellow paint and stippled over the top and this just got rid of any brush strokes. For his muzzle I used a white paint mixed with a small amount of yellow and I took this all over the mouth area making sure to completely cover my lips and again I applied this really thick so that the colour stood out. Using a smaller brush I took the same white and yellow mix and I filled in the section below my eye but I didn't take it right up to the lash line so make sure you leave a small gap. For the top section I mixed brown and orange together and I used it across my whole eyelid and I really worked the paint into my eyebrows so that they didn't show through too much. Next I took the same dark brown that I used for outlining and I painted in the inside section of Simba's ears. He has quite a wide nose so to recreate this I used a bright pink paint and I only painted it along the underside of my nose but I did take it right out to the outside edges. I filled in the bottom edges of his ears with black and I adjusted the shape a little bit because it didn't look quite right. And then the last thing I did for the base was just to drag some of the yellow upwards on the forehead to create a little tuft of fur. Now that I had all of my base colours down, I used a small brush to give the whole design an outline and make it look more like a cartoon. For his cheeks, I made sure that I feathered the edges upwards so that they look nice and fluffy. I then outlined his ears and again adjusted the shape as needed. I also feathered some of the black onto the brown to give his ears a little bit more detail. He has a little quiff of hair on the top of his head which I extended down onto the yellow. I then outlined the white section and connected the edges to the corners of my mouth and then extended the cheeks down onto the chin and feathered out the bottom. I split his top lip with a thin straight line and then connected this to the outside edges of the muzzle. And then I continued the same straight line up onto his nose and gave the whole thing an outline.
Now the trickiest part was to paint around the eyes. Not only does it need to be neat, it needs to be as symmetrical as possible to the other side. Now I broke it down into sections by painting two vertical lines on the outside edge and then I joined them together with an arch over my eyebrows. And then once I had the basic shape, I went back over and made the line a bit thicker. Next, I feathered out the top edge to create Simba's eyebrows. Next, I outlined the lower eyelid and I did this really slowly because I knew that if I was gonna mess up anywhere, this would be it. And once I had the basic line down, I went back in really carefully and thickened the line up. I used a small amount of black across my lash line to add a bit of definition to my eyes and I also took a tiny bit underneath but not too much. Next I went back in and I filled in a small gap in his ear which had been really bugging me and then finally I used a very thin brush to paint on Simba's whiskers. And that's it, I hope you like it guys. This is one of my favorite looks that I've filmed so far um, and I've got a few other Disney inspired looks coming up as well. So don't forget to subscribe and please click the thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time, bye.